hello everybody welcome back to new video tutorial in microsoft excel and here in this video we are going to make a loan amortization schedule in excel and uh, to make loan amortization schedule we need to have three information first that is the loan amount annual interest rate and the loan period here i have given the annual interest rate and the loan period this is the loan amount and the loan amortization schedule contains of six headings that are the month or period then beginning balance emi payment interest principal and ending balance of the loan so here we will use formula in these two rows and then we will simply click on drag and fill option here to uh, fill the data till the last row here and uh, first of all we need to calculate the equated monthly installment for the loan here which is given by the PMT formula in Microsoft Excel so press equal to then type PMT then open the bracket and here in this rate we need to divide this annual interest rate by 12 because in this case we have to give this as a monthly interest rate that's why click on the annual interest rate then divide it by 12 so this is our monthly interest rate now give a comma and in this NP year we have to define the number of periods so our number of period for the loan is the 12 years which we need to convert to the month so here click on this 12 year then multiplied by 12 so this is our monthly period or the loan period in months now give a comma and here in this present value of the loan or PV we have to click on the loan amount now uh, we have to give this loan amount in negative number so here give minus then click on loan amount now close the bracket hit enter now you get the result of EMI which is 23,981 rupees this is the EMI payment which we need to link here in the EMI payment cell so now let's go to the loan amortization schedule and here first of all we need to generate the months which is from 1 to 144 because we have 144 months for this loan period now here I am giving one two then I am simply uh, dragging this by selecting this two then I am dragging this till 144 here you can see it is till now 144 so this is our months after generating these months here then here we have to go to this beginning balance and we have to now link the first value of this which is loan amount in this cell now go to EMI payment and here we have to link this EMI payment cell and we need to fix this because this this remains fixed for all these so that's why here I am fixing this by pressing F4 key in the keyboard now the range or cell is fixed now go to the interest and here we need to calculate the interest by multiplying this beginning balance with the interest rate per month so here I am using this formula equal to this beginning balance multiplied by then we need to give our monthly interest rate here so here I am opening a bracket then clicking on the annual interest rate then I am fixing this cell by pressing F4 key in the keyboard then divided by 12 now close the bracket press enter so this is our uh, monthly interest payment for this beginning balance of the loan now here I am going to the principal amount and uh, here the principal amount is calculated by uh, the principal amount here is calculated by equal to this EMI payment minus the interest payment here the interest is calculated wrong here I have to calculate this as here the form in the formula it should be 12 it is given only 2 that's why the interest calculation is wrong here so here I am give, making it 12 now pressing enter now here you can see this is the interest payment this is the EMI payment and this is the principal payment now here in the ending balance of the loan we have to subtract this principal from the beginning balance so click on the beginning balance minus the principal amount now hit enter now here you can see the ending balance of loan is given 
now in the period 2 we have to click on the beginning balance equal to then we have to link this ending balance of the previous period or the first month so click on this press enter now this closing balance will go to the opening balance here in the EMI payment we have to simply drag this first EMI because this will be same for the entire period now go to the interest rate and here in this interest rate we will simply drag this formula down here you can see the interest is now calculated from this beginning balance multiplied with the monthly interest rate now in the principal we have to again drag the formula down and this is the principal payment and in the ending balance of loan the formula will be same we have to only drag and fill in this way now after uh, generating the value in the period 2 then we have to select these period 2 values then go to the plus button here and simply drag this till the last period which is the 144 till here now here you can see all the values are calculated the ending balance of the loan at the end of the period is zero so our formula is working correctly because this has to become zero here and it is now zero if you add all the principal payment here you can see it is exactly equal to the loan amount which is 1500,000 so this calculation is also working perfectly here the total interest paid for the loan period is 1953,264 and the EMI payment is this if you add these two then it will be equal to the EMI payment so in this way we generate a loan amortization schedule in Microsoft Excel now we have completed creating this loan amortization schedule and uh, this much for today's video thank you very much for watching if you like this video please press the like button if you are new in my channel I would like to request you to subscribe my channel so that you will get similar video updates in future uh, if you have any comment or queries you can go to the comment section below and write comments thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet on next video